especially if you, if you're not worked if you're not used to working from home. Me as a freelance musician, I I have home office 19 years now, so I organize my day. But I can imagine people having a more normal or other job, you know, going to the job. Now they have to work from home. So it must be really challenging for them. For a, as, a, as a jazz musician, um, I want to know about the Swedish jazz music scene. Because uh -huh. here in Brazil, if uh, you need to be very talented to be uh -huh. a jazz musician. Usually you need lots of skills for understanding harmony, also uh -huh. being quick on improvising mm -hmm. and but for finding job for a jazz musician here in Brazil is very hard mm -hmm. so parents usually when you start announcing that you want to be a jazz musician mm -hmm. jazz musician usually parents and people around get very worried yeah how was it for you and how is the scene there in Sweden uh, well my dad is a classical piano player okay. And uh, he plays jazz too. So we started with both, both genres. You know, you read music, but you also improvise. Cool. So if if I if I played Mozart and uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to play the way it was written. If oh, it was. Yeah. I, maybe. Or, or or something, you know. He changed the music, so I learned. He found out found out that I wanted to improvise, uh, so he wrote what I was hearing instead. Oh, okay. So I have the you know I have the the, the support from home That's at nice. that age, six seven. But then when it when it becomes a reality, like I'm uh, uh, nineteen, leaving school, uh, applying for different. Uh, different education to, 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 in Sweden we have folk high schools, which means you live on the school, if, okay. if possible. And you, you study music all day, all day, just music, music. And I went to some of them. At first I wasn't, um, I wasn't accepted anywhere. Oh yeah? Yeah, so well, one year I was home, I was practicing uh, and so on. Then um, I got a, eventually uh, was accepted, but I, I always been the last person to get in. Like last in line. Oh yeah, we have seven before you. So, but, but eventually I came in and so, uh, and I, I went to three of those uh, schools. But the the last school, I, um, I I been I started to freelance. I wanted to, so I looked for jobs myself. You know, it's okay. always if, even you. before school. Yeah, so, um, so I want I looked for jobs. You know, you go, you learn to talk to people. Yeah, the business. You no one will call you. You have right. to go out and write. Uh, but then uh, the other students at the school, they were uh, um, auditioning for the musical academy, music academy. And I did too. I don't know why, because I was already uh, playing, uh, uh, freelancing, making some money. And I was offered uh, a place there. After all, <laughs> seven, you know, said no. So. But then I said no. Oh yeah. yeah. So now that, I don't want. Yeah. So then the worry started a little bit with uh, my parents. Uh, you know, but maybe you have a, you have a safety net. You do the the teaching. You, you go. You do a teaching uh, uh, program so you can teach if you can't make, not make a living. Okay. Then I said no. And but uh, so what are you gonna do? Well, I start to hang out in jam session and create my own scenes. And then after some months, it turns. Okay. Yeah. That's. That's the way it is. I didn't want to have a safety net because if okay. I had my a safety net, I probably would have go fallen back on that. So I have no safety net. I see what you mean. Um, so that's the thing with the. After a while, they understood that this is the hard way that it, it's uh, it needs to be. Okay, and brave from your side. Mm -hmm. 